This is my first week of December Daily. I am going to be one day short of a week because I'm actually going away this weekend, so I'll have to catch up when I get home. And so I was going to go ahead and share it, and the next week I'll either do a little more of a week or else I'll check back in a couple days short of the full week again. Um, so this is the album I got this year. This is an Ellie Edwards um, red album with all the different um, fun little words on it. And... Um, the very first page, first couple pages actually, I'm still working on because these are my first anchor pages. So I'll be adding to them. Um, for instance, this first one, I did my word of the year, which is Mary. And so my intention is to maybe jazz it up a little bit. But what I found out last year when I did that first page like that, my book got so big that it just wouldn't fit. <laughs> so I left it really plain. So here, I'll probably come back and do um, some snowflakes that are 3D and maybe a photo on the back or something like that. Right here is where I'm filling in my calendar as I go. And again, I even left a little note to myself so I wouldn't forget. My plan is to mount the calendar down and then put some snowflakes in it and then seal the top um, just to make it kind of fun. And this is a free printable um, online. It was think about it but um if you go to search like free calendar printables um for december daily uh, there's a girl that does them every year and she does a really cute job so um anyway it's one of hers and the first page i put my reason why so it's to find the mary my last year um last year my word was to find the magic so i just kind of wrote december a letter and um told it what i wanted to discover about it so here um i'll just read it to you really quick Dear December, Father Time has been accelerating through 2018. I haven't even put my December daily stuff up from last year, and I'm pretty sure I've seen a few ornaments still rolling around a shelf in my living room. I don't want to rush to the events and forget why I love December. December brings me the merry that goes with Christmas, if I let it. Regardless of the status of the events in the year that's sliding into home, December can always find a little joy in the darkest times. I want to find merry in the big and little moments and embrace them daily. I want to find the laughter. I want to cement the smiles that memories will feed my heart as I reflect upon 2018. I don't want to feel too old for merry, for magic, for laughter. I don't want to let myself outgrow the fun, the songs, the sights, smells, and tastes. I don't want to forget the Mary that comes before Christmas. I don't want to forget why we are Mary. We remember the manger. Here's hoping you bring this to the forefront of my mind as I'm blessed by the people I get to spend the month with, the places I get to visit, familiar traditions and new adventures. December, I'm putting out my silliest self, opening my eyes wide for your lights and decorations. I'm playing too much Christmas music. I'm eating too many Christmas cookies. I'm sending more Christmas cards and adding bigger bows to my gifts this year. December, I'm ready. Bring the Mary. So, anyway, um just want to just have fun this year in December. So my very first page, I went ahead and put an overlay over it just because I thought it kind of tied it. I tried to kind of match it with some golds and um, blues, but uh, I just thought this made it better. So this was an Allie Edwards um, add-on, a uh, little transparency, it's a little tight. So I might go back and make those holes bigger. So this first day I went to Sir Top tabla <laughs> maybe i'm not sophisticated enough to pronounce it correctly but i use a lot of the ellie edwards um stickers in this one this was an add-on to these numbers with the gold dots i really love them and then these little guys um were from hobby lobby and then uh, these little gold embellishments that are here and they were also on this page over here this is a line um that i bought at scrapbook.com it's crate papers merry days it's some of their little puff things so here I just kind of wrote about the adventure and um, I even made a little slide out card. You can slide out, it's a little tight too, but I don't plan on sliding it out that much. And I wrote about, I took a cooking class with um, my friend Kelly, took pictures of what we made. So it's just a little fun page and um, a little fun adventure for the first day of December. And not so much Christmassy, but still just enjoying life. And then I got this gold label maker, which I really love. It's a brother, and um, I have three label makers, but that's kind of my new addition to my albums lately is I've been doing a lot of label um, labeling for my writing, so it's nice. But I do try to handwrite a lot, too, just because it makes it more personal. Day two, I had a another label maker, um, my Christmas party at with my Sunday school group, and so this is a little bit simpler, um, and there's a point where I just decide I'm going to just be happy with a with a page and move on and um so this again um was uh 
like these the little guys right here were doodlebug milk and cookies actually both of these pages doodlebug milk and cookies these are some of their ephemera packs some of their papers some of their stickers so and i'll show you on the next page too so um and then i did this is like a little tag one of those little sticky tags that actually are like numbers you put on like mailboxes and stuff and so i just I don't know. I thought it was fun. And um, I took a picture of the cupcakes that I brought to the party, which actually, because I was the day before at a cooking class, I did not cook my thing. I bought it from Sam's and then I decorated it with my stuff. So a little secret. And then I wrote about that. Um, and then right here, day three was my work Christmas party. And so on this day, I made a pocket and um, I just put a little hang tag. Again, these are the um, same same line doodle bag milk and cookies it's actually from last year but i think they're still available there i took a picture of all the cookies this is my work christmas party or work christmas cookie exchange and what we do is instead of exchanging a bunch of cookies there were 20 of us this year it's usually about that many um we exchange recipes and then we attach two cookies so that was my recipe this year we and i attached my recipe we attached two cookies to each um bag and then you just like to this year i made 40 and so i saved a couple of the a couple of my favorites right there in that pocket and it was a lot of fun and just kind of a fun way to be able to do a bunch of different pieces in um, kind of an organized fashion. So um, that was day three and I'm trying to just do tags and numbers different ways each time. And day four, um, actually I did a toy drive and I had bought this bike um, at Walmart Black Friday and every year I do a donation in honor of my godson um, somewhere and um, to celebrate his upcoming baptism. So this year I did a bike to a toy drive. And then on the back side here, I just wrote about it. And it was just, um, we have uh, Toys for Tots, is what it's called. So I took a little shot of the place where they were doing the collections. So that's what I did that day. And these, oh, this is my new favorite line this year. Um, Merry Days again. And um, I just, these these are Merry Days. The ephemera packs, the chipboard. These numbers are Hobby Lobby. This bow is Hobby Lobby. These were in the Allie Edwards kit. I think they came with the kit. But actually, now that I, now that I say that, it's probably an add-on. So I glued that pink page to the back of the pocket. And um, in hindsight, maybe I would have done a pattern, but... I'm going to be okay with it because I've got another 26 days I can do something else if I decide. So then just to kind of, a lot of times I try to do kind of matching pages. So I knew coming up that I was going to need day seven to kind of be by itself on a page like this. So for day five, I just put this day five. Um, this paper was Ellie Edwards. It was a clearance. And then I cut out a five with my Cricut. And then it's kind of hard to see, but I did this little wooden tree and some hemp rope um, from Hobby Lobby that I got. And um, then on the back, I talked about getting my tree. Um, so and I typed it actually on the photo, printed it out, and then I added, these are again, Allie Edwards, just this one little enamel dot. It's not, that's Hobby Lobby. So I just typed up about my tree this year and um, the adult version of sharing the story and then like, oh, the prices are high because of the recession eight years ago, blah, blah. And anyway, it's on the end, just kind of, um, I'm going to appreciate having that real tree though, despite all that adult Grinch type information. So day six is my card. And so this year what I did, um, last year I actually did a pocket with my card. So this year what I did is I actually kept an extra card and um, put it inside the envelope and with some other stuff. So when you pull it out, whoop, of course it's going to, oops, sorry, I'm going to shake my camera. So you pull it out. It's my card. And then I put a list of all the people I sent my card to. And then I'm going to write a list of all the people that have sent me a card on the back. And that helps me year after year too, kind of figure out who maybe enjoys still doing Christmas cards and who doesn't. So I can eliminate some people and then took a photo of the card sitting in my mailbox, this kind of round one, and then did a little tag. Slipped it on side. It slips on side of the card. And the nice thing about these, this was clever Hallmark, I think, or no, yeah, it's Hallmark, but it's a day spring card. Is instead of having that that sealable thing, it's still uh, you pull it off, and it's like a sticker. So um, it, I don't have to worry about that gummy stuff getting wet. So and if I had, I would have put a piece of paper over it. But then I just added these little guys right here and um, punched some holes, and then 
glued them to the card so that it hung out. And those are, um, that's a crepe paper line, uh, Christmas Wonderland, I think it is. We'll double check, but um, that's what I think it is. And these little stickers are from that. These are either Michael's or Hobby Lobby, and then this is last year's cork number. And these are some of those thicker stickers you can get at most craft book stores right now. So that's my first six days, and then I'm working on the memories that are going to go with day seven, eight, and nine. So I'll come back and share that. Hopefully, if my plane takes flight, my plane takes off in all this rain, I will be um, making some fun memories and um, then get to scrapbook it when I get home.